Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, before we start, if something is flashing here, that's my Instagram handle. Do follow me there if you need some guidance and you can comment there and I'll pick up the comment and then I'll try to read. Random. Okay, so that's there. Um, we're going to be doing three tarots over here. Okay, all in the description box. And then let me just uh, briefly explain how it works uh, for the people who are new. Um, if you're watching this on a sun sign, then that's going to be happening on a soul level. So, sun is different from the ascendant, but you can have the same, of course. Um, ascendant is, of course, uh, material. It materials because it's a physical form. It's your life path. So, if you're watching it from your ascendant perspective, then it materials to something tangible, as real as it gets. Um, if you're watching on a moon sign, then this is how your mind and feelings are reacting and responding to the situation. If you're looking for Jupiter, I mean the masculine energy, then look for where is Jupiter in your natal chart, in your birth chart. So that's the masculine. If you're looking for feminine energy, that's where you're attracted to, look for Venus. And at the same time, if you want to see the energy of the partnership and the relationship, look for Venus in your chart. And then that's the zodiac that you'll be watching. Okay? So... Now that all is given, this is also based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. And then now we can begin. Okay, so here we go. Let's see here. For the Leos, let's see. Let's see here. Familiars. Here we go. Three of Swords. Ooh, -wee. not the best card. Because remember, for me, the first card is strongest because I relate to this as a birth card. Okay. Um, we all have in you know cards of truth. Um, we are all given one card as our birth card, and then you know that's our that's where our life begins. So for this energy and this reading, this is where your energy begins. It's a heartache, it's a heartbreak, a heartache and a heart heartbreak. Yeah? You're crying, you're suffering, you're feeling betrayed, lied to, your constant thoughts inside your head. This is the first time that the Three of Swords come out for the reads. And the Three of Swords shows discomfort with regards to your heart. So, um, you know, this can be um, someone telling you nasty things or you know it can even not be in the relationship it can be just all over around you so it's like why people are being at nasty you know three of swords vice versa for a cross watcher mm -hmm. let's see here five of cups wow you're going in a downhill if this is Jack and Jill went up the hill, this is uh, rolling down, okay? Five of Cups is upset. There could be someone who's stuck in the past. You're the person that you're dealing with, cannot let go of it. Like, listen, you know? So it's like what's important is us two right now. Forget about your ex. Forget about our old arguments. You know, that kind of energy. And that's why you guys right now are having this you know, deep, saddened energy, you know, this Debbie Downer to its premiere, okay? So if there's a movie, you know, and you got the first tickets, front row seats to a Debbie Downer, okay? Relationship, okay? Let's see. And there's the Three of Swords with the Five of Cups. The Two of Cups, see? Someone just needs to let go of that nastiness, yeah? Because there's love, I told you. Mm. Sometimes it's good to get the worst card, so you know it's not going to come out anymore. <laughs> well, that's how it is. Uh-huh, so the worst over, okay? Someone needs to realize that there's so much love between the two of you. You know how the card, you know, the card behind, the two of cups behind the five cups? Someone needs to realize, like, listen, boo, I have feelings for you. Listen, boo, you know, let's not be difficult. Let's not hate each other. Let's not 
let's not go to the Tree of Swords, you know? We got comfort, loving energy here, yeah? Mm. And here's the Two of Cups. Ten of Swords, yeah, and that mother. When I say and that mother, it's about the argument, the fight, okay? Kill the ego. If it's Disney and then kill the beast, this is the beast, the ego. Kill it, you know, before it ruins the relationship. Got a lot of love. Empress energy here. Venus is here. Love between you and this person is strong, yeah? Empress, two of cups. That's good. Okay. So there's a chance for healing here. Okay, let's go now here. So as the two of you face each other's feelings, wanting to be together still, even after, of course, the birth card is strongest, after all the hurt that you guys had, have, okay, let's see here. The Emperor. The Emperor finally meets the Empress. So you find someone who's su suited for you, okay? So look at this. Emperor and Empress. Tin 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 right away. Okay. Because you guys have a strong connection, yes? But also a strong hurt from each other. Nastiness. Okay. I will not let go of the Three of Swords because that's the first card. Okay, <laughs> just letting you guys know. The nastiness between the two of you that hurt each other. Okay, but now this person is going to be very protective of you. That's the Emperor. Knight of Cups, trying to be sweet. King of Wands and passionate. With a lot of focus on you, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the masculine now is so focused to get the Ten of Pentacles. So Leo is here with someone who wants a forever energy, wants a stable relationship. Eight, ten of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Let's focus on this. You know, this is what this person is going to tell you. Let's focus on the longevity of the relationship. You know how a relationship gets to its rocky situation? You guys had that. And you guys made it. You are a survivor of a, you know, a very oof, three of swords energy. Some people can really let go of, if there was a third party, that girl is gone, that side piece is gone, that boy is gone. Mm -hmm. Some people make it. This is that kind of energy if there was. Okay. Let me see here. Three of Cups, a chance for reconnection, to be happy again. Ooh. Say it, say it, I have to say it. To be in love again, to be together. That's where you guys are headed. Yeah. To reconnect. Gemini energy. Okay. Also, having a stable relationship is right here. At that rocky stage. Sheesh, guys. That was a test of the relationship here. Yeah. So you guys went to that uh, very, how to call that, tumultuous stage. You guys miss each other, Four of Cups, they think about you strong. King of Swords, Aquarian Energy, which is your natural seventh house. King of Cups can be same sex energy. Here you go, two kings. Okay, but this is showing desire. Let me see what is this desire. Desire to start all over again and give that extension, a credit card extension. No I'm kidding. It's a coins with a ten of coins to start all over again. You guys are halfway. You guys can make it. I'm gonna continue this reading, guys, as you guys are here to go here. Let's see more of the situation as it pans out. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, Leos. There's a spark between the two of you. It's uh, undying, uh, I feel like. It's not love, love, but the lovers is here. So a connection that you've never felt before if you were intimate with this person. Recently also reconnecting. Yeah, forgive and forget, survival of the fist, fittest basically. You and this person will learn to survive. Yeah. If the seven, sword of, uh, seven of Swords was there, if you guys can let go of the hurt between each other, the lies, I feel like they're running towards you. Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords again.